So right now, I'm at Queens Boulevard, where McDowell's restaurant <laughs> would have been located. Now this whole area underwent a lot of changes over the past few years. Most of it is unrecognizable today. But when you look across the street, you'll recognize a lot of that background in several shots. So we're going to get into the filming locations, the New York City filming locations for the 1988 Eddie Murphy comedy classic, Coming to America. Good morning, my neighbors! Yes! Yes! Taxi would have driven down the wrong way of the one-way street right here. You see the L above it. turned right here on the South 5th Street off Hooper and there she is When you think of garbage, think of Akeem. Come on in, gentlemen. Certainly a lot has changed here over the years. And then, yeah, right down in here, which is now a fashion store. Joe Lewis, the greatest boxer ever lived. I'll be with you boys in a minute. The chairs and the mirror, the mirrors would have been over on this side of the wall. That'll be eight dollars. You got jeans for boys? Like, 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 Thank you very much. That was very cool.
King arrives later in the movie. Pulls up right here with his entourage. Crazy. Here's where Akeem would have been walking down singing in his glory because he just had a great night with Lisa on a date. And he would have come to this pole, this traffic pole right here, and jumped up on it. Awesome. right where several scenes were filmed. It's intended to be one of the many common areas of Queens when in fact it's right in the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. So here's where we would have been introduced to the Prince of Soul Glow, <laughs> where you would have seen the, the sign at that corner. That building has been completely changed along with this one right here, which is exactly where McDowell's restaurant was located, which was a Wendy's they used for the movie. But as you see, a few years ago, this whole area was transformed into what you see here today. Right here is where Cleo McDowell would have explained the duties to his new employees. Yep, right here. This is more or less where more or less where the corner of the uh, restaurant would have been located. Then he would have noticed someone taking pictures. fashion to what I'm doing now for a different purpose. <sighs> Cleo McDowell would have yelled the guy off and he would have been running down this sidewalk. He was working for McDonald's and this would have been this would have been the exact spot where Cleo McDowell explain to his newly hired employees his disagreement with McDonald's. One of the funniest movies ever made. So here's where Cleo McDowell would have once again spoken to his now African connection, 
filming took place in January and February of 1988. And they had some winter snowstorms to contend with while they were filming. It was basically a five week period. We're in January right now and I'm here. So 33 years ago, today, they would have been filming right here. That's the New York City I know. <laughs> So I managed to find a way through. Work my way around the workforce. This is also where they give a, a nod to another 80s comedy classic, Trading Places, which was also directed by John Landis, which is why they reprise the roles of the Duke brothers in the movie. After all, it was Eddie Murphy's character who justifiably put them in the poorhouse. Waterfront right here along the East River. And there's the Brooklyn Bridge again. And I believe the Duke brothers would have been right over there where he handed them <laughs> what he considered to be pocket change. Awesome. straight ahead where Akeem and Lisa were walking along Empire Fulton Park's promenade area along the East River and they say the River Cafe was the restaurant they actually ended up stopping in to have a romantic dinner but I don't think that's the case because you see this building I'm pretty sure this building straight ahead Luke's when they're inside, along with a roadway, what appears to be a cobblestone roadway, and some parked cars out in front. And the River Cafe, which is located just there, is a waterfront restaurant. I don't see how that would be possible. As you see from the view their window provides, you see the cityscape in the background. And that would not be possible to see all that in view. You see when they stand up from the table to go have their little dance. If that's the case, they would have been inside possibly this building. I warned you, didn't I? Donnie, get him! That's the abandoned track on one side, the other straight across. Awesome. And again, that track is not operational any longer. They've shot several movies, shows, and videos here. World famous Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Classy and classic in every way. Shot 
shocker, it's undergoing some construction right now. <laughs> everybody that's gonna do it thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed it